everyone, and welcome to the Centurion Leadership Battalion podcast, your source of accountability, inspiration, and motivation to become your best and reach your fullest potential every day. Our motto, it's simple, to use our determination to crush our everyday leadership tasks so that we dominate in our delivery of services and products to our clients and achieve victory in personal growth, profitability, and creating environments for those around us to prosper. Let's get this show started. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Core Value Exploration. We are once again exploring core value number two, which is build lasting relationships And I am so excited to have you joining us. If you haven't already listened to the first core value exploration, we talked more about what does it mean to build lasting relationships. And today's core value exploration, we're going to talk about ways you can build long lasting and invest in long lasting relationships. So we are going to go over some tangible ways that we can do this, that we can implement these things in our calendars and in our lives. And hopefully you will be able to see the fruit of your labor by doing these things personally, professionally, um, just in so many different ways. So if you haven't listened to the previous episode, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of what we talked about. So we talked about the importance of building lasting relationships, not just in your personal life, not just in your professional life, but really in both of those areas. So we shared how most people need to network to get ahead in business. You need to have a community of people that you can learn from. You need to have a community of people that can learn from you in order to really have that fulfilled feeling in your business that maybe you have a mentor and you are a mentor, whatever that may be for you. Maybe you're a part of a club. Maybe you go to networking events for your industry, whatever it might be. Um, Really having a community of relationships is very important. And these aren't just people we want you to know, right? We really talked about how it's important to invest in these people to, you know, give a phone call. Don't just give a phone call when you need something, give a phone call to invest, go to lunch to learn something from someone else who's ahead of you. Go to lunch to, you know, teach someone who maybe you are a mentor for pour into them because even from people, you know, that you might view as, Oh, I'm ahead of this person in this way. Well, you know what? They might have a connection who's ahead of you and they might be able to put you together with someone who could help you get ahead in your brand, in your business, whatever it might be. So really working to build those lasting relationships. We talked about the time and the commitment and the effort that it takes to build lasting relationships, not just, you know, oh, I know this person, this is my friend on social media. That's the end of it. Really investing in those relationships, you know, building lasting relationships. That is what the core value, core value says, build lasting relationships. So we have to work to build, build means we take action. There is something that's required of us in order to achieve this. So really building those professionally. And then also personally, we shared on so many other episodes, how valuable it is to leave a legacy for your family, right? For your generation, for your kids, whatever it might be for you. And what is the purpose of Achieving all these goals, you know, building this multi million dollar company, doing all of these things, if in the end no one is going to be there to celebrate with you, no one's going to be there to say, you know, I'm proud of you, or this is amazing, or thank you for doing this. You don't want to just get to the end of the finish line and realize you've burned all these bridges and let all these people down and really stop putting an effort to your children, your marriage, your friends, whatever it might be, your family just to be at the finish line by yourself, right? Building lasting relationships is not just professionally speaking, it's also in your personal life. And we talked about a lot of people, entrepreneurs, you know, they kind of get in this mode where it's all hustle all the time, but it's very important to also invest in your home, in your marriage, in your partner, in your kids, whatever it might be for you. Uh, Maybe you don't have kids, maybe you're not even married, you know, investing in your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your friendships, your church, whatever it might be, you know, there's so many areas of life that don't just have to do with working that you could be pouring into and building relationships with. And that's so important to have that balance. Um, And so now we're going to dive into a little bit of how you can actually build those relationships. 
We're going to start with a few ways you can do this professionally. So I'm sure everyone is familiar with LinkedIn. LinkedIn is this amazing resource that is technically social media, but for business, right? So you can connect with mentors. You can connect with people who are CEOs of multi-million dollar companies. You can connect with people from your college. You can connect with so many different people via LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great way to start those relationships, sending that quick request, sending a quick message. That's a great way to start a relationship, but it also gives you the opportunity to continue investing in those relationships. So, you know, maybe you find someone who would be a great mentor for you and you send them a message and you just ask if they ever have time for, you know, a quick lunch or going to Starbucks, whatever it might be that you would just love to chat with them or talk with them about how they got to where they are. And you will find people are usually really open to sharing their experiences, you know, sharing more of where they've been. People, they say, love to talk about themselves, right? And people also love to mentor and share what's helped them most of the time. So usually people will be really open to sharing that with you. And LinkedIn is a great way to start this process. Just sending a quick request to connecting a quick message, you know, thanking them for accepting the request and just telling them that you admire, you know, whatever it is, maybe their work or, you know, their position or their journey to get where they are and asking just if you'd ever be open, I would love to connect a little bit more in person or on the phone, whatever it might be. That's a great way to begin fostering a relationship. And then also building lasting relationships with your team members and employees. You want people to be supportive of the mission that you have them working towards. You want people to be excited to come to work. You want people to be really bought into the dream that you have. And if you don't have employees and team members that are bought in, they're probably not going to give a hundred percent of their effort into your mission, right? So it's really important to build those relationships. Maybe you have a holiday party or maybe you have an event every couple of months, you know, that is something enjoyable for your team members and employees, whether it's something as simple as ordering pizza, um, or having a happy hour outside of work, whatever it might be for you. There are so many ways that you can pour into your employees and team members to build those relationships that aren't just, oh, please show up at 9 a.m. and you can be done by this time, right? You want to know your team members, know your employees by name. Go and walk around the floor if you work in a big company. Let people see your face, not just see you as another name of another boss. You know, really build those relationships because you never know the people and the potential that, you know, are in your team members and employees until you really invest and get to know them. Another thing you can do to build lasting relationships professionally is be a mentor for someone. Go to a local college and find their business school or whatever industry that you work in and really just find some students or a class to give a, give a talk to, give a quick speech for free. You know, you don't need to get anything from it. You don't need any great recognition. You should feel good giving back to the community and expect that that's going to come back to you in great ways, right? And sometimes by doing those things and putting yourself out there, you will find students who look up to you and admire where you are, just like you admire and look up to where your mentors are and really pouring into the next generation of leaders in your industry is so rewarding in so many different ways. Um, and it should really also benefit you, not just benefit them. So when you have the opportunity to pour into people younger than you, or maybe not even younger than you, maybe they're older than you and they're new in the industry. It's such an amazing opportunity to really build your legacy, build your name and support those around you. And you, we shared on the last episode, you never know, you know, someone that you view as, oh, they're a few steps behind me. They're a few years behind me. They might have a connection that could take your business to new places, right? You never know the connections and relationships that you're building, what can happen. So by investing in the next generation of leaders, that is something so important that you can start doing today. And finally, we are going to talk about ways that you can build lasting relationships personally. This is such a great topic because like we always share, what is the point and purpose of all the hard work if when you get to the end, there's no one there to share it with? So really building lasting relationships personally is so important. And even if you're like, oh, I'm not married or, oh, I don't have kids yet, or I don't have a huge friend group, there is someone in your life personally that you can invest in, right? That you can show love to, that you can foster that connection with. There are so many ways that our brains process emotion and love and those chemicals uh, different than they process the emotion and chemicals with just achieving something at work, right? Love is a whole different hormone. And whether it's a pet, you know, a husband, a wife, 
a child, whatever it may be, your parents, your grandparents, a cousin, I have no idea what it is, but there is someone in your life that you love and that you could invest in building that relationship a little bit deeper, especially, you know, let's start with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a spouse. That is really the foundation of your life. When you clock out, when you go home, when you're done for the night, that is the person that you're there with. That's the person you're building a legacy with and usually for, right? You want a better life for your spouse. You want a better life for your household. You want to be able to, you know, be your best self to support this person. So really, how are you building that relationship? Are you spending all your time at the office and all your efforts focused on work that your husband, wife, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever it may be, is getting, you know, 10 minutes at night of just a quick, Hey, how was your day today? And then that's it. And then you're turning on the TV and kicking your feet up. Or are you making an effort, you know, weekly or monthly to say, let's have a date night. Let's have a night where we turn our phones off and just spend time together. Let's just invest in conversation. How are you doing? How are you feeling? How are you doing in this area? What do you think about this? And really investing. There's a difference between being a part of a relationship and investing in a relationship. And they're two completely different things. And you know what you're doing because you feel it. And the same thing goes for your children. Are your kids getting the best version of you? Or are you missing, you know, the soccer game because you had a meeting come up? Or are you missing, you know, the recital because all of a sudden your business partner called and you had to step out? Kids notice that. Kids pick up on that stuff. And it's so important to have those business goals. And, you know, a lot of times people say, oh, well, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my kids. That's the reason I'm doing this. That's why I missed this or missed that. Well, sometimes you have to take a hard look at your actions and your schedule and really ask yourself, you know, I know I, I'm saying that I missed this because of this reason, but was that really worth missing out on this moment with my family or missing out on this moment with my child? Is my child going to look back at this moment and remember this? And was it worth taking that quick 10 minute phone call that I could have waited till later to have really investing and in building in a lasting relationship with your kids? is not the same as just being a parent. Anyone can be a parent. It takes someone really special to be a mom, a dad, a step parent. It's you have to build that relationship. Same goes with your friends, right? You don't want to be that friend. That's always talking about work, complaining about business, all of that. When was the last time you called a friend and just said, Hey, how are you doing? Or, Hey, do you want to go grab dinner? And obviously we only have so much time in a week, so much time in a day, but I promise your life and your business even will be more fulfilling when you find that you can be better balanced in these areas. So there's a huge difference between just having relationships and building them. And I hope that these are a few ways that you guys can be encouraged to show up in your business, in your family, in your friend groups in a better way, um, and to have more value for those relationships. This core value is so important because we can talk about it both ways. We can think about it professionally and it's so important, but we can also think about it personally. Um, And I would argue it may even be more important that way. But I would just encourage you to really look at your life, look at your schedule, look at your calendar, look at your recent calls on your phone and really see, you know, which side of the scale is tipping right now and what do I need to do? to take control, to take it back and just reestablish, you know, what's important to me and where my value is lying. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. We greatly appreciate all of the feedback we get, whether you listen to us on Spotify or Apple, wherever you're listening, if you could take a few minutes just to leave us a quick review and a rating, um, the star reviews are awesome, but we love when we actually get the feedback from you with the ratings. So we greatly appreciate that. You can also connect with us over on social media. Uh, we love to hear from you guys and connect with you there. We have new content that comes out weekly and we love to just get that support. So you can send us over any more Q and a questions, any feedback on the episodes we have done. We would totally love to hear from you and make sure you stay tuned for our next episode. Uh, we'll be diving into some more Q and a we'll be diving into some more core values. And we really just have so much more great content to come. So we really love the feedback. We appreciate what you're doing, listening and sharing. And just thank you so much for being a part of our mission. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.